Hello all, uh, I'm going to talk about a few uh, data flow transformations now and I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to make use of a data set, a sales data set, which is already available in the Azure. This is the sales data set. You got a country, like you have few countries data over here and the year wise and the product wise sales, country, year, product, wise sales this is the data set that i'm going to use and i'm going to use a data flow components over here so let's get started i'm going to start with the new data flow i think uh, yeah i uh, i have one which is not used so i'm going to make use of this so i'm going to uh, you uh, give a name uh, sales source okay and uh, what is the options i'm gonna uh, select the file uh, from data set data flow data set i have created a new data set over here data flow data set that's why i'm using this and oh, there is no wildcard path or something over here because i have given a full file name so here if you could see in the projection i want to make sales as integer i can i can select change the data type because i don't want to rather transform the data i can just you uh, make use of it so here uh, <laughs> You can specify any format that you require or something. I don't want to specify any format, uh, just a plain integer and other two are the product types and I'm fine with the data. And I don't want to uh, uh, use anything over here as well. This is the source settings. So let's say um, uh, I want to make use of filter transformation now. Okay, let's let's make a uh, filter 2014. Okay, incoming stream. Whenever you select a particular transformation or any destination, it will always show you here from where it is getting connected. So it is connecting connected from the sales source. So what do you want to filter on? So let's open the expression builder. Let's say I want to filter year. So I want to filter here. See any operator you would like to use, the data is over here. Please don't uh, try to use uh, your own things, whichever the operators which is supported is mentioned here. So you can mention 2014, year 2014. Year not equal to, I want to filter the data, not equal to 2014. So, okay, since since two, I want to use not equal to 2014. So, what will happen if you see in the data preview? If you refresh, it will filter the 2014 data. Yeah, just give it a minute. Just want to show you the data over here so uh, you can easily understand. That's the reason I'm showing the data preview over here. So look at this, guys. The year 2014 got filtered now. If you see the data preview of sales source and click refresh, and you're going to see data for 2014 as well. Look at this data for 2014 in filter. You don't see data for 2014. Okay. So now I have used the filter transformation. Now I want to use few more transformations over here. I want to use, um, let's say, um, uh, aggregate transformation. So in the aggregate transformation, I want to aggregate data uh, based on year. 
your voice. Okay. So here I want to select the column. What you want? I want sum of sales. You want to group by, right? So I want to aggregate actually. I want to not group by. Uh, I just delete it. I want to aggregate. Sales, enter expression. Sum of sales, which is available over here. Save and finish. You want to group by based on country. You want to group by based on year. And I just want to group by based on country and year, not the product type. That's it. So let's go to data preview and refresh the data. So it, it is taking a little bit of a while. So in the aggregate transformations, it's uh, very easy. If you could see here in the output, I can see only few, only two things like I am grouping. So output data from filter to aggregate when it goes, I'm just grouping the data based on the country and also here and sales amount is this. Now let's say I want to filter the data. I want to conditionally split the data into different output files based on the country. I can see three countries over here. One is USA, one is UK and another is India. So I would like to use conditional split transformation. Okay, in the conditional split, split the data, split sales data, data on country. So, so what you want to use a USA split condition here in the expression builder country equal US USA here UK let's say India. Now I have to add a new one. So let's say India. Country equals India. Here I want to make it as a default. Anything, uh, anything which don't match the condition for India and USA will go to default. So what we have done, we have filtered the 2014 data and aggregate data based on the year and country, and then use the conditional split to split the data into multiple outputs. Now I will add sync. I will sync the data USA. Incoming stream is this, and it will go to output folder. Folder and in the settings, I'll say single partition. Okay, in the file name options, it will be output to a single file, and I will say. USA sales that's CSV. Okay, single partition. 
and you can see we'll just see the preview for usa only okay let's see the preview still loading so yeah let's see it's just mapping the usa airway cells into that output now i want to map india data india sales data set select output okay settings file name map to a single file india sales single partition you don't have to go there and select that's the reason and you can say check the data preview let's see that and default i will mention okay uk sales default sales uk sales that's it i would mention outputs and output to a single file UK sales dot CSV and set single partition. So let's go here and see output data. Maybe here I need to change it to capital letters. Let me go to source file and check. IND, it's not IND, it's just IND. So I will just change it to IND. Okay, and check the preview. And here for the UK, also I'll check the it won't because it is still processing the Indian preview data. <laughs> Look at this guys. It is fetching only Indian data and even it will work for UK. Let's <clears throat> save this. This is data flow three. Now I will just go to execute data flow. Okay. And then select data flow three okay and then try to debug now let's see how it goes i have to show the whole output so how it goes what it happened what happens this is the input file it's progressing let's see look at this guys so look at this the complete data flow from source to filter the data okay and you can see the whole flow and what is this stage what it's doing over here and how many everything you can see over here actually so this is how it works pipeline was modified and if we go to blob outputs you can see india sales Okay, and you can see 